I'm Cory Doctorow, and you're listening to a Creative Commons licensed podcast. Some rights reserved. This is the Trilingual Chatbox podcast. We're Laurie from Taiwan. Am I from Japan? In this podcast, we share our Japanese and Mandarin language learning experience with our audience in English. If you're interested or you have a similar language learning background, welcome to join us. Hey, you came back. Where did you go today? What did you do today? I've been home for too long because of COVID-19. I've been home for too long because of COVID-19. So I went for a walk and shop for some food. 结果因为好像快下雨了，我就回来了。啊、uh, ，辛苦了。那你今天买水果了吗 ？You didn't get any food the last time we went. 有有有，买了很多。这次我买了香蕉和番茄。I also got grapes and oranges. 太好了，我可以跟你拿一些吗 ？Sure， 我买的可多了。Help yourself. Hi, Lori Fan. Hello, my son. Welcome、Everyone. back, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, from the skit you just heard,、uh, I'm sure our audience, especially the ones who are currently learning Chinese, will notice that there was one word that clearly stood out. It was the particle la.、Uh, it was used so many times, and I actually counted it. Appeared.、Um, it appeared eleven times in total. <laughs> We could hear it in every single sentence, and even twice in some of the sentences.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So,、um, and uh, why, uh, my son? Why did you choose this、um, topic for our Chinese episode this time? Okay. So, I,、um, I think many of Mandarin Chinese learners can agree with me on this, but the particle lot is really tricky. I learned it and. Read it many times, but I don't think I've fully understood the usage yet.、Mm-hmm. And <laughs> when I try to use the word, the particle in the sentence, oftentimes I pause and think, should I put it here or not? Right? In my right. understanding, it is used in the to show、um, the completion of action.、Mm-hmm. So, to to me, it means past tense. Yeah. Yeah,、right? it's but it's, sometimes it does sound like <laughs> yeah, but sometimes it's used in the like present tense, right? I believe. Yeah,、Then、exactly. I, right. So I get confused. So、mm-hmm. I want you to, you know, give me more clear picture of how native speakers use the particle la. Right. Right. Yeah, it is a tricky one. It it is. Uh, very magical. I think <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bit surprised that it's brought into our discussion at such an early age of our recordings,、uh-huh. since、uh-huh. it's hands down one of the most confusing usages right, right. in the Chinese language.、Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so before we begin, I would like to mention one thing first.、Okay. Um, from our second episode, we discussed about the usage of the Chinese words.、Um, Bu and May, right?、Sure. Uh, I hope our audiences still remember this.、Um, mm. Well, I'm aware that we talk about the concepts of past tense and present tense in Chinese, and how these concepts correlate to、uh, the two Chinese words.、Mm-hmm. Um, however, in today's episode. For the first time, I'm going to ask you to drop it. <laughs> I mean,、okay. the ten, yeah, the tense in Chinese. Right.、Uh, remember, we talked、um, talked about it the last time in our chat about this、um, particle la. I actually suggested you that,、um, like, for learners of Chinese, you guys need to bear in mind that. By tense, I mean、mm-hmm. in the sense of a language that has has tenses like Japanese and English. Yeah, in these two sentences, we both have、uh, tense.、Um, and whereas in Chinese, the concepts of tenses are much weaker. We use、mm-hmm. at best particular words and some sentence structures even to indicate the concept of tense. Um, and I believe that's probably why my son you brought it 
up um, mm -hmm. on behalf of all confused learners of Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let me try to make it easier for you guys to understand how le is usually used in a Chinese sentence, but I'm not, I'm no pro, so um, mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to try. Okay. okay, so basically, like you said, uh, we said um, it's usually expressing the completion of an action. So um, besides some set phrases that um, in the previous chats we had, um, like 太好了, okay, uh, wonderful, 烦死了, it's really annoying. Okay, these kind of set phrases, um, we will not talk, we will not be talking about them mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. um, besides those, we use it in two different ways generally speaking. So the first one is the completion of an action. It's usually something that has happened or just occurred. So so mm -hmm. it does feel like we're talking about the, the past. And yeah, we usually are. Um, and the second use is that we use it to indicate a change of state mm -hmm. or a situation a situation, a change of a situation, sort of like to contrast between then and now. Oh, okay, so um, so I'm going to talk about the first one first, okay, the completion of an action. Uh, in this sentence pattern, we usually use love behind, behind the verb to talk about an action that is completed. Uh, for example, I watched a movie on mm -hmm. Netflix. 我在王飞上看了一部电影. Okay, I said mm. 看了. 看了. Yeah, so it's oh, okay. 了. It's mm -hmm. um, behind the verb. And like, um, I bought a cell phone. 我买了一台手机, 一只手机. Mm -hmm. Okay, 买了. So again, it's um, it's followed um, by 了. Okay, and the negative form of this kind of sentence do not include 了. Okay, though, um, mm -hmm. for example, oh, 我没看电影, uh, we say, I didn't watch a movie, 我没看电影, mm -hmm. we, we don't use yeah. the 了, and also, right. uh, I didn't buy the cell phone, 我没买那台手机, uh, okay, the there's no, time, yeah, right, yeah, uh, right. We, okay. we don't use 了, it's just, um, just a pattern, and you have to memorize that, mm -hmm. okay. um, but please note that for constant facts we don't use la either we don't use la um for example i cry a lot okay i'm, a, I'm like a cry baby i like <laughs> i like to cry <laughs> 我常常哭. and in this sentence we don't have la okay but this is mm. um, present so it's probably right. not that obvious but okay. for example i used to like french fries but i don't now because it it makes me fat so i don't Mm. Use uh, I don't like French fries now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm. okay. Okay, yeah, so you that, don't need that to is, put yeah, we don't need mm. love in the sentence because mm. we're talking about a constant fact. Mm. So, this is why um, I just asked you guys to drop the idea of sentence uh, of, of tense because, mm. in this case, it was a habit of mine in the past. But still, mm -hmm. it was a constant fact. It's a mm -hmm. habitual thing. So even if it only existed in the past, we do not include la in the sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. um. So this is the the first concept. Okay. okay. Concept. Oh, I have a two. question. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um. If I want to say, I was friend with Lori San when mm -hmm. I was. In high school, mm -hmm. yeah. Again, case, it's it's in this case no la. No la. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's again. Mm -hmm. It's a um, it's a constant fact in the past. Right. That it only existed in the past, but we still don't use la. Yeah, we're okay. not talking about the completion of something. Mm -mm -mm. So there's no love there. Mm, understand. Right. Okay. Now, category number two, uh, we talk about the change, uh, a change of state. 
So we in this sentence pattern, we include the particle "le" at the end of the sentence to indicate the status quo, the present situation.、Mm -hmm. Sometimes it even feels like we're making a statement. Okay, let's say for example, I just ask you a question about "morau" and "ageru." Okay, which、mm -hmm. will be our topic next topic, right? In <laughs> the next <laughs> right, time, right? And you explained, and I understood.、Mm -hmm. Then I would say, "Ah, 我懂了、mm -hmm. 我知道了 Okay,、mm -hmm. there we have "la" there. Ah,、uh, this is actually somewhat similar to the previous situation where we talked talked about like completing an action. It's very、mm -hmm. similar, right? But let me give you another example. Um, for example, I used to hate this guy, but now、mm. I don't. Hmm. I 以前讨厌那个家伙，但现在不会了 Okay. Again, I use "le" at the end of the sentence, so it feels like I'm giving you a situation of a contrast between、uh -huh. my state of mind in the、right. past versus、mm -hmm. it is now.、Mm -hmm. So, okay. so okay. What I'm saying is that it's. Really, not that simple. I mean, <laughs> at least not exactly like the first、uh, situation. Okay, so, so if you want to say, I don't, I didn't like French fries.、Mm -hmm. In that case, you use, you don't use la. No, but no, it was、uh, a fact in the past.、Yeah. 我不喜欢啊、uh, ，and and also it's negative, right? Oh, I mean, 我不喜欢哦、oh, right. uh, so ，薯条。I was、yeah. gonna say I liked,、uh, but again, it's still a more more like a constant statement、That's、of、right. the a, a habit in the past,、mm -hmm. even so. You so, don't have to use it. No, no.、But、if I wanna say,、um, I like I, it now. I I didn't like it, but I like it now. I like now. 我现在喜欢了 Ah, okay, okay. Yeah,、mm -hmm. there we need that love、That's、there、right. so that. You can have a contrast, a sense of contrast between the past、mm. and the present. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Okay. Well, Now, yeah. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let me give you another context.、Uh, it's probably even more abstract, but of course, I'll show you an example. So, if the action has been performed for a while and is still happening. We also put the particle "le" at the end of the sentence to indicate a sense of emphasis. Okay, so、mm -hmm. um, it's also to contrast the 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 past and the present. For example, I've been eating for an hour. Okay, that's a long time. 我已经吃了一个小时了 Okay, there we have two "le"s. In、there, the、mm -hmm. the action of eating started at one point in the past. So I say, 吃了 But because I'm still eating, it's not finished. I use "le" at the end of the sentence again to emphasize, to sort of、mm -hmm. give an impression of the length of time, to stress、mm -hmm. that I've been eating for a long time now. Okay.、Mm -hmm. So okay. the last situation. That is also included in this category is when we talk about something that is about to happen in in the near future. It is also a kind of change of state.、Um, for example, I'm leaving, so I'm here now. I'm leaving, so I say 我要走了、mm -hmm. Okay, and also it's、uh, like emphasizing that I'm leaving. Or、mm -hmm. look, it's raining. 你看下雨了 Or、mm -hmm. the movie is about to start. 电影要开始了。Okay, they all have loves at the end of the sentence. They're all a statement about the present situation,、mm -hmm. and I'm talking about a very quick shift from the past to to now. Oh, okay, okay.、That's、yeah.、Fine. So something、mm -hmm. when something is about to happen, we also、mm -hmm. use love at the end. So it's probably、mm -hmm. include included in the second category. Mm, right. Okay. 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 <laughs> Quiz time, my <laughs> son. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, five five questions. Okay. Are you in for the challenge? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay. Right. Excellent. Uh, question number one. Um, 
Okay, two sentences to um to express. I've had lunch. I've just had lunch. Okay, 我吃午餐 versus 我吃了午餐 Okay, A and B. Okay,、mm. which one means I've had lunch? I've had lunch. <laughs> A, 我吃午餐 B, 我吃了午餐 Uh, I think it's B. Yay! <laughs> you、okay, got it, it right. It already in the right, past. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay. Number two. Question number two. I'll be there in a bit. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. A. 我快到了 B. 我快到 Hmm. It's A. A. Excellent.、Yeah. 我快到了 It's about to happen. So、mm. we have that la at the end. Okay, number three.、Um, this one is a little tricky. <laughs> I <laughs> I can speak Chinese.、Mm-hmm. I can speak Chinese. 我会说中文 versus 我会说中文了 Or you can choose both. <laughs> A.、Uh, 我会说中文 B. 我会说中文了 Okay. <laughs> I do A, but I think B is also well, okay. Of <laughs> yeah, that's why、right. I say <laughs> you can choose both. Okay, let, let me explain the differences be,、uh, between the two. 我会说中文 means、um, I speak Chinese. Okay,、mm. this is I'm just stating stating. It's like a, a constant fact. Like 我会说 I already know. But if you say 我会说中文了 It it sounds like a change of state. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I probably used to um be, okay. I don't know any Chinese, but now、mm-hmm. I know. I know、mm-hmm. some, so I say 我会说中文了 Okay, so there's these um very slight changes <laughs>、mm-hmm. <laughs> indicating. Okay, okay, number four. Um, I'm going to say we'll have. Left by the time you get there,、mm-hmm. we'll have left by the time you get there.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so the sentence is: 你到之前，我们就离开 This is A、mm-hmm. and B. 你到之前，我们就离开了 I think it's B. Yes, that's right. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll have left by the time, so so it's something that you've completed. You、mm-hmm. you'll have completed by the time you get there. So、um, if you want to say, "We'll leave before you get there,"、mm-hmm. that means 你到之前我们就离开 You don't use the "le." Then you're saying that you're going to do this before you that we're going to leave. Before you get here,、mm-hmm. what、okay. was the, the other one? Sorry, with with la.、Uh, with la means we'll have left by the time、mm-hmm. we get there. Ni dao zhi qian, we just leave. Hmm hmm hmm. Yeah, this is、um, about the future. So we still use these kind、mm-hmm. of sentence pattern in the future. So it's、mm-hmm. not really about tense. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 Okay, I know you know this one. <laughs> I've been living in the UK for a year. A, 我在英国住了一年 B, 我在英国住了一年了 Okay. <laughs> Do you want it? The se- second one. The, the second one.、Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's correct.、Okay. That's B. Um, mm-hmm. If you say without the last la, 我在英国住了一年、mm-hmm. it implies that、um, you lived in the UK for one year, but you're not、uh, specifying if you're still there. Usually,、right. you're probably not there. Then you、mm-hmm. will say that,、mm-hmm. um, and you're still there. You will use the second la at the end.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, excellent! Yeah, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you get the gist of the the concept about the particle learned by now. <laughs>、mm, I think so. I think so. 
Yep. Okay. Yay. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be discussing another topic focusing on Japanese that's chosen by Lori san next time. So, welcome to join us again. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you want us to discuss a certain topic, please leave a voice message to us. We'll try to make an episode on that topic. So, we'll see you next time. Bye. 